All right, it's Barry, and today on Grow It, I've got the top five easiest and most fun fruits and vegetables for kids to grow from seed. Well, we're at the start of spring and that means it's the perfect time to get kids involved with growing some plants and the best way to do it is by growing some fruits and vegetables that they can look after, harvest and finally eat later in the year. It's a great way to introduce kids to gardening and to teach them about the work and processes that go into producing the favourite foods. An important thing to consider when choosing plants for kids to grow is how quickly the plants grow because you want it to stay interesting and also there's an exciting payoff at the end when you get to eat the results of all of the hard work. A good way to keep it interesting is by mixing up the faster harvesting plants with the slower ones so that there's always something to do and it's also a really good way to incentivise kids to eat vegetables if they're not too sure about them. I'll leave links in the description for all of my guides to growing all the fruits and vegetables in today's video just in case you'd like some more information and tips before you get started. So here's my top five suggestions for some easy but rewarding fruits and vegetables that kids can grow from seed. Probably the easiest and fastest edible plants to grow are your standard salad leaves and there's quite a few varieties to look out for and each with their own unique properties and flavours. Spinach is a good option for a quick turnaround plant and by sowing the seeds in March onwards you can expect to be picking leaves within around 8 weeks. You can combine spinach sowings with some lettuce such as a ready mix salad leaf variety or even choose your own and there's plenty of really great lettuce varieties available that you can grow some smooth leaves, some frizzy leaves or long leaves or even just round lettuces and you can even choose to mix them up by colour so you can get some green lettuces and some red lettuces. Some great varieties to grow are Simmer and Romaine, Little Gem, Lola Rossa or Paris island cos and lettuces will grow great just straight in the ground in the garden as long as you keep the slugs away or you can grow them in a grow bag or a pot or a container if you've only got like a patio or a balcony to grow them on. Next up we've got potatoes and again these are a really easy one to grow and it's as easy as just getting a net or a bag of seed potatoes and sticking them in some soil. There's a couple of different ways to grow potatoes if the ground isn't suitable or if you don't have a lot of space and one way is just use a big bucket or a container filled with compost and stick in one seed potato up a bucket or you could use a grow bag or a compost bag turned sideways to stand up tall. I like to grow mine in raised beds so I'm doing that this year. There's loads of different potatoes available such as Mary's Piper, King Edward, Charlotte and even branded ones like Albert Bartlett and I'm, I'm sure I've seen McCain seed potatoes somewhere but it might have been a dream and uh, if you've seen them let me know in the comments because that's going to do my head in now. I'm sure I've seen them. Potatoes can take longer to grow maybe 16 to 22 weeks depending on the variety and the time of the year that they're planted and all the interesting stuff's going on underneath the soil so there is an element of patience involved in growing potatoes but the payoff is a lot more exciting when they can harvest loads and loads of potatoes by rummaging around in the soil with the hands. And next up is peas and they are great for kids to grow because you can start them off indoors maybe on the bedroom windowsill before you plant them outside once they get a bit bigger. If you're growing them in seed trays you just need to put one pea in each cell and cover them over with a layer of compost or grow them in toilet roll tubes like I did with my sweet pea video guide to make them a bit easier to plant out. You could also just sow them directly into the ground or even in a grow bag later into spring. In around a week you should start seeing your first pea seedlings growing and if they're growing outside make sure that you protect your young plants from hungry wildlife like birds or mice as they will go mad for the tasty leaves and they will eat them all. Peas grow quickly and they need something to climb up so you want to pick a site with a wall or a frame, some netting for them to climb up. Once we get into summer they'll be covered in flowers followed by loads and loads of pods filled with peas. They're a really fun one to harvest and they can even be eaten straight off the plant. In fact, I think the best peas I've ever eaten are the ones that have just been picked and most of mine don't even make it home. Just like peas, beans are fast growing large plants with loads and loads to harvest. Broad beans and runner beans are both great options for smaller children because the seeds are a lot bigger and they're easier for small hands to hold rather than little fiddly seeds. Beans grow really quickly and it's a great idea to plant one in a see-through plastic cup or a container or a jar with the seed against the front of the container and you'll be able to see the seed germinating underneath the soil and the development of all the roots before the plant even comes out above the surface. I remember in like primary school we did that and it was like the best thing ever and I don't know if that's still a thing but I, I do hope it is. With broad beans you can expect flowers in summer which then develop into massive pods filled with beans. I think the best part for kids when they're growing peas and beans is that they can start off with a single pea or bean seed and then see the whole of the plant's life cycle and end up with hundreds of peas or beans at the end when they harvest them. And finally my absolute favourite plants to grow 
several, which is tomatoes. And there's so many varieties in different shapes, colors and sizes to choose from. But I think the best variety to grow with kids is Gardener's Delight. They're a tried and tested traditional variety and they're real easy to come across the seeds in the shops as well. Gardener's Delight is a cherry tomato with tons and tons of tomatoes growing on each plant right through summer into autumn. And I recently did a video on my top five favorite tomatoes to grow. And I've also got my guide to sowing tomatoes coming up as well. So make sure you check those out for some ideas and tips for growing tomatoes. The best part about growing tomatoes is that they're really versatile when it comes to picking a place to grow them. Ideally you want a greenhouse or a conservatory for growing tomatoes, but you can also just wait till later in the year and grow them outside in the summer using a container or a grow bag up against a sunny wall. Just like with the peas, it's also really nice to be able to pick and eat cherry tomatoes straight from the plant. Supermarket tomatoes are usually picked when they're still green and then they artificially ripen with gas to extend the life to allow for transport, but tomatoes that have been ripened naturally on the plant and they've been freshly picked are so much better. If you grow your tomatoes from seed, then you can start them off at the end of March and they'll be flowering in no time. You can use a propagator with a lid to grow tomatoes or any of the other seeds that I've mentioned today. Or if you don't have those, you can use plant pots or even just make your own propagator using like a yogurt pot with some holes in the bottom and then just use half of a plastic bottle for the lid. Well that's it for today and I hope that you've got some great ideas to get kids growing their own plants and their own food. If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my gardening videos and my guides all the way through the year. I've got loads of ideas and information to get the most out of your plants. If you grow some of these plants or if you've got any other suggestions don't forget to let me know in the comments and let me know how you get on and I'll see you next time.